Hi there. I just was having this amazing conversation. And what a metaphor we're in. This is a Saturday before the eclipse, the final one here. But yet, I just am in awe of the moment, of how we are. And this energy is going to be with us. I get intuitively, as I'm a medium, intuitive person who just gets big downloads to help people go through life, like this video, I hope. We're in this moment. We're in this change. And we're going to be here for a while. It's just the fire is underneath us right now. There's a big fire underneath us. But this is the whole year's energy. How can we make decisions in the moment where we're at? Make the movement. I woke up this morning. I have this old wagon wheel. Well, I was told to sell it. Okay, I'll sell it. The thing is, though, there's other metaphors with that. The wagon wheel comes to the times when people were going across the um, the oceans to come to a new land. The, um, the people from the East Coast moving to the West Coast in the wagons. And they were taking, a, they, they, they were holding on to these items. What would fit in a suitcase? That They would stay them. They would stay who they are. They would stay, who hold on to those things that make us comfortable. Keep us satisfied. Like my cat this morning wants to be fed. He's got food to satisfy him. But he wants the food that, that nourishes him, that, that feeds him. We're having this movement that we're called to do that feeds us. Like me putting on my makeup this morning. You know? I am me, but the makeup just brings on this comfortableness. So what I'm going to invite to you is, is that this energy, this year's energy is going to be about how can we fulfill that stirred up part of us, that stirred up part of us to move maneuver into our new knowings. It doesn't mean that we relieve ourselves of our old self. It doesn't mean that we change who we are. We are always going to be us. We are us from the core. But what we're being asked to do is relieve ourselves, shift ourselves, whatever language you want to have, um, negotiate with self, um, uh, uh, upgrade, um, inspire, uh, whatever that language is that is yours to move into this newer energy. It's, it is time for us to build on our older selves to help us be comfortable. It's still morning. I'm not going to be perfect yet, nor am I ever perfect. But it's an evolution. It's the evolution of transformation. It is so time for us to know that we can still be us in the core. Yet the physical things, things around our house, the, physical, the emotional things inside of us, those things that we hold on to so dearly that we think is our truth, yet is it for our greater good. So it is time to contemplate. It is time to move. But, and it's time to do all these things. And it's time to transform here, inside here, so that when we need to talk with our boss, when we need to talk with our, with our fellow um, mates, um, our fellow, um, uh, uh, you know, bosses or whoever is to make that transformation. We need to wait for the outside. I'm going to say the word need and I don't want to say need. We're called to. There's a better word. We're called to wait till we get the outer knowings. It's time to talk. It's time to engage with these other people because sometimes we're, we want to move our physical being. Like we're going to be going on a trip to Florida to see if we're going to move to Florida. Now, am I going to call and tell my my um, my uh, manager of um, of finances and and all that kind of stuff yet? No, we got to make the decisions first, then go outside our world to make that interaction. But start contemplating how you can enlighten yourself, how you can 
lighten yourself by the things around you. I've had this wonderful thing here in my bathroom. She gives me inspiration. And then this came. And I put it on here because I wanted hearts for the fat. What would it be like if she wasn't here? This thing about love broke. I've been told to, to um, throw it away. Ouch. It represented love in my financial, in my relationship corner, feng doing feng shui. Things aren't always going to be comfortable as we shift and change. But I'm asking you, asking you to trust the process. Have conversations with people that can guide you and help you stretch and pull these ideas. It's time to move our old stuff around. Change the pictures on our walls. Do things for movement. And then when it's time to physically move, make that decision when you have more information. I would love to assist you in this journey. I'm Natasha Venter, intuitiveclarifications.com.